Today we're going to use the Thunder Laser Bolt to engrave this 40 ounce Stanley Tumbler. Now my sister asked me to do this for her. We're not going to do a full wrap on this one. So we're just going to use the stock lens that came with it. But we are going to put our youth group's logo on the back of it. That way she can represent while she's at work all day. I'm Ashley and this is Elsa and this is Chip So let's jump into it. So first thing we got to do is unscrew the lid and then take out the care instructions and then take off this like protective thing. And then we gotta take off the handle. Okay, so I actually just grabbed the set of Allen wrenches that came with the Thunderbolts. So remember, lefty Lucy, righty tidy. So when you're doing this process, it always helps to make sure you have an intern looking over your shoulder to make sure that you're doing this process correctly. So for this one, we just kinda gotta get down in here. They're really just hard to start to get that first kind of turn off. All right, make sure you don't lose those screws. Oops, and I just bent that. Oopsies. Did not mean to bend that. So be careful because apparently these bend easily. All right, so let's load this up into the rotary. So now we can autofocus in the center of the cup and then we can move the laser up a bit, set our origin point, and then our cup is level. And then now we're ready to go. All right, so I quickly put a piece of foil and some tape over it just to do a little square inch test. I think the 4400 steps for rotation should be okay, but I just want to double check since this is an expensive cup. All right, so we're going to do our one inch test and then we can take a temp measure and measure it and see what we need to adjust. So we'll hit start. Now, the reason we're able to do this test with just the 1.5 inch lens and not the four inch lens is because we're just doing the one side of the cup. We're not trying to compensate for the two different sizes of the top and the bottom of the cup. So if you're going to do a full wrap, you definitely need to be using that four inch lens. All right, we'll move the laser head out of the way. It looks like this is an inch all around, so not bad. So we're going to use 4,400 steps for rotation for this part. All right, so let's remove this tape. All right, so here is our logo here. I'm going to make it three and a half inches wide. And then let's rotate it sideways here. And we have our origin in the middle right. And for this, we are going to do... 300 at the power of 95 just because I want to make sure it gets through all that powder coating. I haven't really perfected my Stanley Cup settings yet, but so I really want to make sure I get through all of it. Click OK. And then we're going to hit send. So let's hit start. So it seems like it's doing a pretty good job so far. All right, and now it's done and we can clean it off. We got a little part of the design and so I just went back and kind of manually lined it up and it turned out okay. So we're gonna let the degreaser soak in. I hate the LA Awesome, how it smells, but it is the cheapest option. And I'm just gonna use a magic eraser to get the sit off it and it looks pretty good. All right, so the Stanley Cup turned out okay. So when I went to engrave this, you know, I lined it up really perfectly where it was going to be on the exact opposite side of the Stanley logo. And then, you know, I put this through light burn and I set my cut up and I set my cup up in the laser and then I hit the framing option and the framing was perfect. I did the framing three times because I was nervous because this is an expensive cup. But uh, as you can see, it is definitely a little bit crooked. Uh, you can't super tell, you know, when my sister's holding it and stuff. But so this happened to me on a couple different cups. So I finally put in a support ticket to Thunder Laser and apparently it was a known issue that when you would go to start the job on a tumbler, it would shift a little bit and then start. But so Chris over at this support, he sent me some firmware to update the laser over a USB stick and that solved the issue. And so uh, if you're having that problem in your own tumblers, make sure you put in a support ticket because they'll get back to you super quickly. And um, and they're just really helpful. And then you won't be making any mistakes on super expensive tumblers. But hopefully this helped you guys if you're going to engrave any tumblers like this. I think engraving tumblers is my new favorite thing to do. I'm super obsessed with it. But if you have any questions, let me know down below. And I'll do my best to get back to you. But so I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.